When I think about my photographs, I understand that my interest all along has not been in identifying a singular thing, but in photographing the relationship between things. <clears throat> the unspoken relationship, the tacit relationship, the impending relationship, <clears throat> all of these um, variables are there if you choose to see in this, in this way. But if you choose to only make objects out of singular things, you'll wind up shooting the arrow into the bullseye all the time, and you get copies of objects in space. I didn't want copies of objects. I wanted the ephemeral connections between unrelated things <clears throat> to vibrate. And if my pictures work at all, at their best, they are suggesting these tenuous relationships. And that fragility is what's so human about them. And I think it's what's also in the romantic tradition, because it is a form of humanism that says, we're all part of this together. I, I, I'm not just a selector of objects. And there's plenty of photographers, plenty here, who are great photographers but who only work in the object reality frame of reference. They collect things. And I don't think of myself as a collector. It's, it's my sense of where I'm different from other people. Um, and that's not a measure or a judgment. It's just a sense of your own identity. For me, the play is always in the potential. It's like magnetism. Mm -hmm.